YouTuber, CJ Flyer, Backyard Kansas, USA. I'm going to take a few minutes here to talk about a bell siphon, and specifically a homemade bell siphon. It's kind of an anybody can do it type of thing. They can be a little picky, but uh, just a basic bell siphon is actually fairly easy to make. Here's the basic components. Here's a uh, vacuum chamber. This happens to be two inch PVC in uh, this case. Got some notches cut at the base. Typically, that uh, vacuum chamber would be capped off with a PVC cap to make it airtight. And it would sit down over the top of the standpipe, which is right there. Now, I just have this for demonstration purposes. It's actually not connected anywhere, but the standpipe, of course, would be through the bottom of the bed. And this would go over the top and a cap over the top of the that. The outer shell, the outer pipe is a, a three and a half inch pipe and it's just a gravel guard. You see for my grow media it's uh, pea gravel and uh, down inside you can see a uh, standpipe and then the actual bell siphon itself. What I've done is I've taken a glass and sealed the top to the top of the uh, of the uh, bell siphon itself, the chamber, and if we watch here just a second, it looks like the water's coming up. It should start to overflow, and yeah, you can actually see the physics, see what's going on in the uh, in the chamber itself, and that's kind of why I did it this way. I thought, uh, well, I could put a PVC cap on it if I wanted to, but why not put a glass on top of here so I can see actually what's happening. There we go, it's starting to drain, and in a second it'll catch, and you'll see all the water fill up, there it goes to the top of the glass, and it siphons itself out. So you'll, pretty soon here you'll start to see some air getting into the system coming from the base as it starts to empty out. Some air bubbles and it'll start to try to break that siphon. All right, starting to hear it. You're getting some air into the system, there it is. It takes it just a little while to completely break the circuit. And there, it's almost ready to break. There it goes, it breaks. And it starts over again.